I've been posting a series of videos about my power backup system for my two computers and LED lights throughout the house, solving problems as they came up. I am pleased to present my final configuration, in which I incorporated all the improvements, and which is rendering optimal results, being carefree and getting the most out of sunlight, on a low budget. I'm still using my old 12-volt inverter, rated at 450 watts. It's powered by a 100 amp hour, seal type gel battery. The low cost charge controller is the one I previously had, MPPT type. I am currently using two 315 watt solar panels, with an open circuit voltage of 60 volts each. The panels are equipped with individual blocking diodes to prevent shading problems. You can add more panels with their corresponding blocking diodes to extend the working hours. I used a 110 volt double primary power transformer as an isolating step down transformer to avoid problems with the ground connection to the neutral wire and so that the square wave of the inverter won't damage my low cost LED light bulbs, which I have installed throughout the house. Hooked to this same line is a ceiling fan installed in my office. In order not to cycle the batteries unnecessarily, I installed a simple charger powered through a small step up transformer to achieve acceptable battery float overnight, even with all the lights on. The charger works only at night, thanks to a relay, with normally closed contacts, and a 110 volt alternating current coil, which works perfectly with the voltage supplied by one of the panels. In this way, when the sun rises, the charger turns off automatically, and at dusk, it turns on again. I connected the relay coil upstream the blocking diode of one of the panels, to ensure there was no unwanted voltage from the battery, which could keep the coil energized at night. With all this, the major improvement I made was building and installing a small gadget which, in the event battery voltage reaches a value greater than 15 volts, disconnects the input of all the panels from the charge controller for a split second, thus returning voltage to normal. With all those improvements, the panels produce enough power to work longer at the computers, without exceeding the input capacity of the charge controller, and without causing the inverter to protect itself, shutting down unexpectedly, and losing data in the computer. To date, this has been the most reliable and efficient version I have been able to achieve. I hope this video helps you to have a home office, with backed up power for your computers, plus blackout proof lighting. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Shabbat